What's up? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, back on IE Network, and this is Heaven Hollywood Report, exclusive, day two of the Tory Lanez uh, alleged assault case on Megan Thee Stallion. It is the state of California versus Tory Lanez, aka Daystar Peterson. Yesterday, just to recap, you know, if there has to be a score kept, I have to say it's 1-0 defense. I think yesterday, even though um, both the prosecution and defense gave their opening statements, the bombshells dropped by the, the defense pretty would, would pretty much put them up. There wasn't uh, too much revealed as far as the shooting goes, but then you have to throw in all the extra uh, added sugar and preservatives, right? Um, we found the Ben Simmons thing, uh, name got dropped. Uh, the baby, you know, name dropped, uh, stating not only did he uh, smash Megan Thee Stallion, but allegedly Kelsey as well. And if you notice, the baby made it known that he was effing on Megan. But he didn't make it known as Ethnon Kelsey. See, it, see, the story ain't as good. So he just didn't just mention Kelsey. He could have said, I was elfing on Kelsey, right, around that same time. But the baby's smart. He know what name uh, moves the meter. Because he was smashing Kelsey as well. He didn't mention that. But he made sure to mention Megan because Megan's the big name. So, um... Also, now the prosecution did also drop some bombs uh, when they stated that Tory Lanez assaulted uh, Kelsey. Now, this will make you think back to that girl. Um, I don't know if her name was Laney or something along those lines, right? Uh, remember when she was tweeting and she said, oh, you know, you... Or just gonna try to act like you didn't tell me that that Tory Lanez, you know, pow powed Megan, and then how you know you lied to me about being hurt because he was whooping your ass. It go. It makes you trace back to that text. If I can find it, I definitely will. Um, but then you know that makes you think back to that. So all these things that are now coming out now makes you think back to the tweets that was taking place before and between Megan's friends, between Kelsey's family, between uh, Megan's stylist, DJ, what have you, and you start trying to piece together what was real and what wasn't real. Um, today, what do we expect today? Well, we expect Megan Thee Stallion will testify She's going to give her testimony. I would expect protesters and Megan supporters to be outside protesting about protect black women, protesting about, you know, her body. She could do what she wants. You know, that has nothing to do with her getting shot because what the defense has tried to do, like I said, this new lawyer that Tory has, he's not like Sean Holly. Sean Holly, she liked leaving stuff off the Internet. She's more old school. This guy's a little younger. He's with the shits. All right. He wants to play this out in the court of public opinion. Sean Holly really didn't care about the court of public opinion. You know, she was stating like, you know, she doesn't know academics and she don't know who he is. So other, but this guy here, he's the type he'll get he'll get into it with the blogs. He'll he'll send the blogs information. This is the type of lawyer he this dude is. He'll make sure that the blogs are, are posting Tory in a positive light once it's going on, just in case these jurors are going home. I know that they say you're not supposed to look at the case, but these jurors are going home and going on Google and seeing what they can see. And if they can go on Google and, and see a lot of positive things about Tory and negative things about Megan, that will help them make their decision. Because you know, you know jurors, they say they don't do it, but come on now. You know they do it. You know they're going, is, is there any way of, of the court finding out 
that they were online searching Tory Lane? I don't know. Do they do they look at their phone? Do they take their cell phone from them? Do they monitor their computer? Probably not. Right? Um, but you know, they say that if you, you know, make sure you don't go home and Google the case, if they found out, you can be in trouble or what have you. So what do we expect? Megan is starting to testify. We also expect the medical, this is day two. We also expect the medical examiner, uh, probably a medical examiner that, um, that examined Megan once she went to the hospital. He'll probably tell what he saw. All right, and... Hopefully, we get this witness that said that that saw what he witnessed. Now, at first, there was rumors that he was saying, "Oh, he saw like nine people." I mean, that's impossible. The nine people can't even fit in an SUV. So, I don't know if he said that. I've never heard that. But there was rumors of him saying at one point he saw nine people, and then he said he saw two men and a woman. Beaten on Megan. So he's going to talk about a fight. And it's going to be very interesting. He, if, especially if he testifies before Megan. Which they will probably call. Uh, the, the defense is going to probably call him first. Or, or, or yeah, he's going to probably call him first. Or cross examine him first. And then they're going to probably bring Megan after him. Because then they're going to ask Megan. How come you never mentioned this fight? You never, ever mention the fight. It's going to be very, very interesting. Megan's going to need all the backing she can because if I'm on the defense team, I'm asking her. First of all, let's get out there. Why did you deny uh, Tory Lanez uh, having an in in intimate relationship with him? You went on national television. And you not only stated this once, you stated this twice. So you had a chance to recant what you said and you still said you had you did not have an intimate relationship with him if i'm megan i'd come back with you know what i did but when the re at the end of the day look at him i was embarrassed you know you gotta come back with a with a, with a remark like that you know i said with him during the, it was bad times i was very vulnerable my mom had just passed. His mom passed. We got into sentimental talks. And pretty much, you know, it was a bad situation that he was able to take advantage of. And, I mean, look at him. <laughs> I'm, I'm not proud that I did it. That's how she has to flip it. I don't even really know why she went into this and, and thought that they wouldn't find out the truth at some point. It's like she was fighting against time. The more and more it puts you back, maybe people forget about it, what have you. Nah, nobody forgot about it. So the cross, the defense, the way they handle Megan today, I do expect her to, you know, everybody's calling, everybody was asking for her to drop a tear. Well, she's going to drop a tear today, I guarantee you. I guarantee you because she's going to say, Thinking back about this or what have you, reliving the trauma once again. I just want it to be over with. I have to relive. I relive this same trauma every single day. Blah blah blah. So that's what I expect her to say. It will also be interesting to see if we get Corey Gamble's um, testimony tape. See, since this, ha since whatever happened happened in Kylie's house. I would expect him to get his testimony early today because if we get Megan and, and Kelsey and everybody's testimony, you know, early, when it comes down to Thursday or Friday, who the hell is going to care about Corey Gamble's testimony then? It's good to get his testimony out early so we can establish Megan's mindset or her possible mindset um, leaving the party. Or have, be it having left to leave the party. So Corey Gamble is going to come on and pretty much testify for Kylie. Because Kylie's never going to testify. Right? So Corey Gamble is going to basically say, yeah, I was there to witness it. Kylie was kind of worried. She kind of called me over there because, you know, she didn't want to have any confrontation. So I came and I was the one that asked her to leave. Or he'll say I was, you know, just making sure nothing happened. 
because she called me, you know, about it, and and I was just making sure nothing else happened. So I guarantee you that's something that he's going to say, something along those lines, right? He's never going to say, oh, I was in the pool with her, you know, something like that. So she probably called Corey to say, hey, I want them to leave. I just want to make you come over and make sure, you know, that they leave or what have you. So that's what I believe he'll say, and he'll probably confirm. Uh, I didn't really see too much. You know, she looked like she was a little angry or what have you, and she was definitely drunk, so on and so forth. So I expect to, what to expect today, expect a testimony from Megan, expect a testimony, expect the um, testimony of Corey Gamble, um, expect the testimony of the medical examiner, and probably the witness, one of the witnesses. I don't think they'll have Megan and Kelsey on the same day. Be interesting. We'll see. But looking forward to it. Court gets started, you know, in approximately about two hours Eastern time. No, maybe like one hour Eastern time. Court gets started, I believe, 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock, somewhere in there. So if it's 10 o'clock, you're talking another two hours. So far, I believe the defense is up one nothing, but it's a long way to go. All right, leave your questions and comments below, and I'll do my best to answer it. Uh, I would say follow along Dennis Byron. Like Nancy Dillon didn't do a lot of tweeting yesterday. She might be in court with, with another case. She might be covering. But I would say go to No Jumper, follow No Jumper, and follow uh, Dennis Byron. All right, it's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network.